all right guys so welcome to today's video and in today's video we are going to work on our anime fighters game right here and sorry if i sound ill or something i am currently ill and yeah so i have managed to fix the status though okay so let me just quickly tell you what i've done so first of all line 29 right here should be save t and then everything else in the last video i have made the mistake that i forgot to put this t right here therefore we have only referred to the function so we have tried to assign a certain index to a function which is not possible of course of course i meant to assign this index to this table right here but i apparently have misspelled it so i for i have forgotten to add this t at the end therefore save t and then this index and then one one more thing i would like uh, you to do is that you remove this not where it says players re player removing so um, i have made the experience that it is not safe so bind to close didn't work out for me but if i delete bind to close then it doesn't work out e either okay so <laughs> we seem to need to bind to close and this thing in order to make it safe and i'm going to look around for a fix Okay, so just give me a few more episodes, but let's just, yeah, use this for now, okay? So I'm able to, yeah, load those, those uh, towers, yeah. Characters, of course, not towers, let me, let me remove, or uh, let me change the name of this folder. So equipped characters, come on, equipped characters. Because, um, yeah, towers. <laughs> we are not working with towers, guys. So, if we have managed to save everything, let's do the following. So, I'm going to switch over perspectives. And now I'm going to delete this Itachi new test. Or uh, I'm going to replace it with Gear 4 and with... Erodiega, yeah. So Erodiega was the other tower. Come on, Erodiega. Erodiega. Okay. So we are now going to make this whole process automated. So as you can see, we have those three characters right here. Let me save this thing. And as you can see, one disadvantage of the saving method, or or having bind to close and play removing at the same time, is that. It just, yeah, runs into a yield. Therefore, we'll need to look for a solution for that. But as you can see, it has saved. Okay, and that's at least um, the most important thing for now. Okay, so. Come on. Come on. Yeah, let's go to test. And let's do the following. So. Um, we should now change this to the following. So. We should remove the free and add player. Wait for child. Equipped characters. Get children. So we are basically getting a table which contains all of the instances which are inside of this equipped characters folder and as we already know those instances inside of this folder represent the characters we have currently equipped okay and adding this hashtag in front gets us the amount of characters therefore we are looping um, from one to the total amount of characters okay means we have a loop for each character and mean and this means that we can perform various actions within these loops such as cloning the character building the character making the character follow you know so that's the idea behind of this and yeah so here comes the issue now so those positioning or this position part thing might be a little bit yeah a little bit difficult but we'll see how this is going to work out all right yeah so instead of having those names right here 
we should just do the following so uh wait x it's i'm currently thinking about yeah so let's just uh clone this let's get rid of this part and wait yeah local there we go Wait. No, no, no. Okay, let's see if this is better. It's for expected got instance. Yeah, okay. There we go. So it did work out, but there is an issue with those position parts. Yeah, so how many do we have? Okay. One, two, three. All right. So. All right. Yeah, so the issue is with here, with down below. So as you can see, we are making every character follow the first position part, which is, of course, wrong because every, every character has its own one. We just need to find a way on how we can assign it to, yeah, the player, or no, to, the, to those characters. But we could just easily do this, so we could do fighter name equals fighter name. One, or to a string one. No, not one, but I, yeah. And therefore, we can do this string sub v name v name minus one and v name. Okay, let's see if this does work out. And yeah, it does. Okay, so why is this position part so far away? Position part. Where is this? Okay, pretty funny. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, so remove this minus one and then things should be fine. All right, there we go. So we have now managed to automatically create those characters and make them follow us. The only issue I see now is with those position parts because they are not automated. So we have already a set of three parts which already have their positions assigned and it is now up to us to make this whole thing automated or as automated as possible because I'm honest with you, I don't think that I'm able to make this completely automated. But um, I'll find out a way to make this somehow, okay, somehow a little bit more automated than it currently is. But let me just quickly go through what we have now created so far, and then I'm going to end the video. So, we have this fighter temp table right here, which is going to store all of the fighters later on, which have been created. And this is going to become important when it comes to making them follow us. But let me just go through this loop. So we have this loop, and as I've already told you, we have uh, we have a loop for each character, okay? We have currently equipped. So this is basically what this expresses. And um, we are going to create a position part for each character. And according to what or in what or in which loop we currently are, so either loop one, two, three, we decide where the position part is located, okay? And that's the point where we are going to say that this is not automated, okay? So this is not automated currently because, as I've told you, we have we have already some presets, so we have already some preset positions and we need to find out a way to make this a little bit more automated. Down here, we are uh, referring to the replicated storage and we now have those uh, brackets right here and inside of those brackets we are referring to our equipped characters folder we are getting the children and we are now indexing okay means we are basically so what this part expresses that we are so we are referring to the character we are currently doing the loop for and we are trying to get the that character's name means we refer to the replicated storage we add the name of the character inside of here and then we are going to clone it means we are basically just referring to any of those characters and we are cloning them and right here we are changing the name from Aaron Yeager, Gear 4 or Itachi to either Aaron Yeager 1, 2 or 3 Gear 4, 1, 2, 3 Itachi 1, 2, 3 okay according to their uh, row and we are parenting everything to the character and you guys should know the rest so right here we are uh yeah position positioning the character to the position part okay so according to what the position part is and down here we are adding yeah the fighter we have just cloned to this temporary table i have just talked about and we do that by getting the current amount of entries inside of this table plus one and we are going to add our fighter to that spot. Means if we currently have an empty table, therefore this is zero, zero plus one is one. Therefore at the first spot, we have our first fighter. Now, if this table now has one entry because we have just done it, then fighter temp, so this is one. Okay, so because this gets the total amount of entries with, the, with that hashtag. So one plus one is two, means second entry and second entry receives the second fighter and so on okay okay down here we are looping through this table which is going to contain every fighter every character we have uh, equipped so far and um, we are going to yeah run this code for every character or we're going to apply this code in every character which is basically some kind of loop okay and this loop makes this character follow its uh, position part okay and now this might be interesting to see how i have assigned the position part to one character so right here we can either have position part one two three also four five six seven eight whatsoever okay depends on the total amount of equipped characters inside of our folder all right so and down here i have already told you that 
the fighters receive a name according to their position in the row means if they are the first fighter or character then their name with a one at the end if they're a second one then their name with a two at the end and so on and we are now tracing this position part by getting the number at the end of their names okay and just basically checking for a position part with the same number okay so this is basically what happens right here so string sub is a, is a way to get a certain character or a certain part out of a string in this case this string is is the fighter's name and the start position is at the end and the end position is at the end means we are going to take a look at the last character which is the number i have just talked about so we are adding this number to this position part means we have gotten the position part which is assigned to that character and we are going to make the character follow that okay so this is what basically happens in this last line and as you can see it works fine because they're following us and yeah all right guys so that's it with the video i hope that you have enjoyed it if so leave a like subscribe share this video to all of your friends leave me feedback in the comment section and also in the next episode we are going to yeah work on this position part problem i already have some ideas but i'm going to show you to i'm going to show you them in the next episode all right with that being said take care and see you in the next video guys